All right guys, so we all know that one of the biggest things we need to change in that space is the lighting. Garages are notorious for being dark and kind of musty, you know, really cave-ish environments, and we want to avoid that for this new space. So I have a really awesome project here. So it is our amazing 50-50 project. It's gonna cost us less than $50 and take us less than 50 minutes for us to make. So what we're gonna be making today is some dip-dyed wicker lighting. Cool. Wow, so cool. So we're gonna be dipping these into pre-mixed down water paint. Kind of so we made these into a little uh, double-sided hook shape. We'll just push these together, thread it through, and now we have a way that we can hold these Fantastic. and let them dry at the same time. So as you guys hold them up, you'll see that they're all the same, but we want them to look visually different. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dip mine to maybe right about halfway. You can dip yours to about here. And Layla, let's dip yours almost all the way to the top. Okay. That way when they're all hanging in a cluster, you see a little bit of visual variation. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. All right, you wanna come around? Yes. One, two, three. All right. Oh, yes. Wow. Beautiful. Right. And then from here, we're just gonna hang them up to dry. We're ready for step two, which is gonna be wrapping our cords. We'll take our spool of rope, and we're just gonna start with a small dab of hot glue. You literally are just gonna wrap it around the entire thing so it stays nice and tight. I think it's amazing that you were able to start the Sasha project, and now you're helping so many other families that are going through something similar or the same as you. Thank you. I think it's great also for Sasha to have a focus you know, other than just some of the challenges that she faces on a day-to-day -day basis. She's had a couple of stays at the hospital, and uh, with this art therapy program that we support, you know, the art therapists come to the rooms because some of these kids can't leave the rooms. They're isolated. You know, when Sasha was there, she was hooked up to a machine, and Sasha has uh, a one-sided weakness. and. Kids who have a one-sided weakness like Sasha will do everything in their power not to use that side. Unless you give them an activity that is bimanual and fun and interesting, they won't do it. So that's how it's helped her, like giving her a pair of jeans and painting on something that's typically not something a child would paint on. <laughs> yeah. It's so exciting for her and, and seeing her engage both sides of her body, like that was just like an amazing thing to see because for her, that was not a therapy session. It was a craft session and something fun and interesting. And for a parent, that was like, oh my gosh, bonus. That's what like, I was wondering. <laughs> did you see right away, like, okay, yeah. we gotta keep doing oh, this. Oh, we gotta keep doing this. So when you're finishing this, you just do one last dab of hot glue, and I'm gonna trim it, and then just wrap it right into it and just hold it in place. Okay. The last step for us now is to thread our cord through our dip-dyed wicker lighting. Right. So we'll take off our lampshades, remove our hooks. You're literally just gonna thread this end of our swag kit through until it goes all the way through to this hole. Pull it all the way through. <laughs> it's like we're pulling rabbits out of a hat now. <laughs> How much more cord do you got? That's a song, okay. right? Here we go. All right. Perfect. So now we just throw a bulb in there and install it. Oh. Next time you see these beauties, they'll be hanging up in Sasha's new art studio. Fantastic. These are gorgeous. Hey, it's Layla. Thanks for watching. Download the OWN app to watch full episodes of Homemade Simple anytime you want. Subscribe to the OWN YouTube channel to keep up with us. And don't forget to visit HomemadeSimple.com to get inspiration for your next DIY project.